I feel like I've lost my sense of time. It's like each day is merged into one. Just an endless cycle. Night and day. Moon and sun. Black and white. What in God's name are you talking about? Is that a quote or what? No. It's reality. Speaking of reality, look at this. The press finally got it right. I never get it right. Dale, I used to be the most active lawyer in the state. Our world is riddled with femme fatales. Even the movies reflect it. We gotta get out of here. Oh, no, we, we gotta do what we gotta do. Drink again. No, be detectives. I'd like to do that again. It was fun. Made a fortune, too, without Uncle Sam knowing. But how do we get out, though? Bribery? Neither one of us has families that can get us out early. True. But I got a partner. Might do something for us. Take you home. It's Jeff now. And how did you get in here? Well, Jeff, I talked to the people at the front desk and told them that I was your brother. Come on, take it you home. You're my brother now. You feeling better yet? How's business? Yeah, I gotta admit. It was better when you were around, but then again, I can't lie as well as you. 50% of our job is lying, but the other half is knowing when you're being lied to. Yeah, and yet, uh, you're the one that's here. So, uh, come on, you got a suitcase, briefcase, something I can put your stuff in? It's under the bed. I gotta go to the bathroom. Yeah, you do that. Any new cases? As a matter of fact, I got a brand new one. It's the highest publicity case going on right now. Yeah, I read about it in the paper. Prosecuting, right? Defending. This one's gonna put us right back on top, partner. but even drunk he could keep up. I fell at the top and he gloated over me until he, until he took that one step back. Well, it's good now that we know the true story. Yeah, your side of the story. Yes, my side of the story, the real story, not the press's story, which is based on nonsensical assumptions calling me, my husband's murderer, even before an autopsy is completed. Oh, you don't need an autopsy for a broken neck. And we'll sue them for that, won't we? Anyway, it's 
getting late. We'll talk tomorrow. Of course, dear. <clears throat> Bye later to see exactly where it happened. Okay. So what's the matter with you? You forget your manners? Did you? Look, that client is gonna put us back on top. You said that before, and the only thing that's going on top is you. On the blind lawyers list. Blind lawyers list. What's that mean? What I mean is, is if you would have been looking anywhere but down her shirt, you would have seen that she's lying. And I mean to prove it. As a detective. As a detective. You keep your nonsense to yourself. Want you to defend her? Or get out. Defend a client that everybody but you knows is guilty? And I wonder why this place has been going downhill since I left. I'd hit you if I thought it would do anything. <laughs> Go ahead. Give me your best shot. Get sent back to the hospital. You know, Jeff, you're not in a position of power around here anymore. Look, I want this to be a whole new start for us. A clean slate. Okay? Okay. Look, I want this to be a whole new start for us, okay? No more being on your case like before. Now, you're not a wonderkin that needs to be kept under control anymore. You're damaged good, see? So why don't you act accordingly? Anything you'd like to ask before we leave? Yes. Uh, Richard Johnson. We split up a while back, before the accident. Really? Tell us more. There isn't much to tell. We had an affair and it ended. Dick wasn't the reason I was considering a divorce. It wasn't about him. It was about... Independence and freedom from Ray and all his abuse. Well, that's what she says. Hey! Will you watch it? One of these days that thing's not gonna be empty. So the lover's name is Dick Johnson? Yeah. <laughs> Just don't kid right now. <sighs> She's got Bob completely hypnotized. He believes everything she says. Look, I need your help. I don't know. Sounds like fun. I just got out of the hospital today. I really don't feel like going back. Besides, I don't have my detective license anymore. Yeah, well, do you have a gun license? <laughs> Give me that camera! Give that to me! Give that to me! Wait, Jim! Trench goes to my lawyer. It's cool. Thanks for stopping him. Yeah, thanks for stopping him. These photographers. Yeah, that can be a real problem. You got all this money now. Why are you working? I get cabin fever at home. I'd rather be harassed than go crazy. Oh, uh, did you want to take a seat? I'd rather take a seat than go crazy. No, I don't think so. 
this will do. Really are different. Mr. Alice called you an eccentric genius, I think. Yeah, well, if you worked with Bob, you'd be an eccentric too. Trust me. I often feel like Mr. Ellis is trying to look into my dress. Yeah, I like you more than Bob. I like you more than Bob. Although, let's not be too hard on the poor slob. I think he'd do just about anything for you. <laughs> or anything to me. Quick-minded, I like that. You're not meek or dainty. You go for what you want. Whatever it takes, huh? Whatever it takes. Mr. Johnson, I can't thank you enough. With your testimony, you're going to be my ace in the hole. Well, I'm glad I can help. Oh, you sure are. Right? I appreciate it. Well, see ya. Thanks for coming in. What's going on? Well, that could be our new key witness. Mr. Johnson informs me that him and Tracy ended the relationship weeks ago. In fact, he's got a whole new lover. So in short, this has a huge hole in the prosecution's main theory. I should ask where you've been, but why you look so upset? Upset? I'm not upset. I'm thrilled. Because now I'm certain she's guilty. Getting dick on her side? What? Bob. I went to the Common Club to investigate. I spoke with Tracy, and she's guilty. I saw through her whole act. She's the femme fatale. And I got her to slip up. Jesus, you, you've been playing me this whole time. Listen to me. She said she'd do whatever it takes to get what she wants. She'd do anything. <laughs> the hell is wrong with you? What the hell are you thinking? If you ever do that again, I'll hit you back. Yeah. And you get yourself sent back to the hospital. That beat's getting beaten. You know, you used to be brilliant. Now you're nothing. You're just some washed up blouse that doesn't know right from wrong. So just, just, just get out and stay out. She's going down, Bob. And you'll be pulled down with her. I can't go back. I can't. And that woman, she cannot get away with this. I think I'm crazy. I'm too drunk to tell. Dick Johnson. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> Thank you.
Son of a... You're in a lot of trouble, son. A lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. Mr. Johnson, we met earlier. Do you realize that you are about to be put on trial for murder? What? But I... Relax. We know that you're not. Even my partner, Mr. Ellis, knows that you're not. But I also know something else that Mr. Ellis doesn't know. Miss Greer is the murderer. And she knows she can't beat the case. She's gonna try to pin the blame on you. But I didn't do anything. She, she knows I didn't do anything. Don't worry. I have the key to keeping you off of this case. Total immunity. It's an affidavit stating that you're certain of her guilt and that you had absolutely nothing to do with the murder. That's not true. It doesn't I... matter. Nothing she's been saying is true either. Including what she might say about you in the future. Sign it. Sign it. Drinking on the jab. Best way to catch a man with his pants down. I'd even have to use this. We're detectives. Put that away. You're drunker than Dick was, and he works at a bar. to our femme fatale's house. Force her to turn herself in. To avoid a court case altogether. What? What? The, the, the murderer's house? Now? <laughs> Take me with you. No. Hell no. Not in your shape. I'll see you later. Take me to 21866 Bridgemont. Jeff! Jeff, you idiot! 21866 Bridgemont. The Golden Gate Bridge. It really is hacked. San Francisco. I'm a detective. I knew Bob was wrong. I didn't even get shot at. Drinking? I've been celebrating. Celebrating what? The case. What else? It's over. I got all the evidence I need. I can't lose now. You mean it's guaranteed? Yes.
forged this. You read it, didn't you? It's an affidavit. Jeff, what are you talking about? You're my lawyer. Wrong. Bob is your lawyer. I'm just justice in a trench coat. A detective. I've been playing you all along, just like you've been playing us. Only you couldn't fool me, baby. You're insane. Maybe. But you're the one with blood on your hands. <sighs> Don't worry. You're gonna call the police and turn yourself in. It might go easier on you if you do. Come on, let's go. Let's go to your phone. Don't bother telling the police any phony stories. With me and the affidavit, you're out of options. Go ahead. Hello. Hello, my name is Tracy Greer. I'm at my home at 2186 Bridgemont. I'd like a squad car sent to me. I'm turning myself in for the murder of my husband. This is at the insistence of Detective Anthony Bennett. Jesus Christ. Tracy, you stay right there. Stay right there, I'll be right over. They're on their way. Come on. Let's pack your stuff. Twenty six fifty four Bridgemont. Twenty one eighty eight. Oh, damn. Don't feel bad, baby. You were just dealing with the best. I was the best attorney. Now I'm the best detective. You're neither. You're just insane. I am not insane. Then why are you doing this? Do you hate me? I don't hate you. I liked you. You're terrific, Tracy. You are just terrific. I pity you. Don't do this. They'll lock you up. Why is there blood? There was no blood in the movies.
gonna happen to the girl? Is she really innocent? Doesn't matter. With me and Bob gone, she'll be stuck with a public defender. Not strong enough to beat the prosecution's case. Even Dick won't testify anymore. She'll be lucky if she doesn't get the gas. They don't use the gas anymore. Yeah. But I still think they did. 